All right, welcome back guys. Uh, anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna do this really quick because I had to get up stupid early and basically I didn't wanna miss that, the sunrise. And it's flat calm this morning. So flat calm, hot, hot day. It's gonna be like 100 degrees today. And I am not happy about it because that means I had to get up at like 3 a.m. and I will be off the water by like 9 or 10 a.m. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw some top water right away this morning. Flat calm, early morning, middle of summer. Hard to beat tap water. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna throw tap water this morning. I'm just gonna cruise down the middle of this lake. I'm on a very shallow body of water. I think the deepest spot out here is like 10 feet. So I'm gonna follow this weed line out here. It's like five, six feet. I'm gonna cast this like at an angle to it. So like if this is the weed line, I'm gonna cast at an angle as I'm working my way down the lake. Hopefully something big is cruising the weed line and wants top water this morning. I'm just kind of kind of power fish this frog because I'm not by any structure per se. So there's no reason for me to like. Oh. Had one. I was going to say there's no reason for me to stop it. <laughs> that guy kind of just sucked it down. Wasn't ready for him. Okay, in lieu of covering water faster this morning, I threw one of my smaller ploppers on. This is the 90. Uh, I forgot which color this is. If you know, you can comment below. It would help other people out, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. It kind of looks like a bluegill to me, and I've seen a bunch of bait fish on the uh, surface this morning, so that's why I'm fishing top water. Figured I'd give it a try for a little while before it gets too hot, but it's definitely gone up like 10 degrees in the first hour here, so... Wish me luck. Hopefully I find something that's worth it. Okay, messed around long enough with the plopper. Plus, I've been finding all these weeds just kind of scattered around the lake. And if you know ploppers, when weeds, they don't get along. So, put my frog back on. I'm just gonna run around this shallow area for a couple hours here. I might switch over to something finesse if I find some weeds to play with. But uh, yeah, we'll see if the fish wanna play. I don't know if the 90 degree heat's gonna be killing them or what. So, we will see. Okay, hey, these guys are being jerks this morning, not playing top water with me. So as I cruise around from structure to structure out here, I'm gonna throw this bigger spinner, little tandem. Tends to get their attention pretty quick if they're feeding on bait fish, we will see. It's been real hot out, so I don't know if the water coming up in temperature crazy is turning them off or if they're just being finicky today and Really, I need to slow everything way down. We will see. This goes pretty slow, but it's a good, good big size bait to separate out of the little guys. Okay. Through the spinner around, through the plopper around. Gonna, gonna toss this craw around on a little football head jig. I got some structure, some weeds and stuff like that. I did see some fish feeding over here. So hopefully, that's a good indicator of active fish. But uh, yeah, this is the nice thing about this setup is with a Texas rig down here that's weedless, but I can swim this back. So I can kind of do a little bit of both things where I'm covering like the swimming and hopping and moving it really slow if I want to. So we will see what's all playing today. Found one. Oh, it was the first fish I found all day, <laughs> all morning. Kind of in disbelief, so I didn't set the hook good enough. <laughs> there was a fish in there. Had my fingers crossed that there was somebody hiding back in there. Tiny little guy, but very healthy. <sighs> Thought I wasn't going to catch anything today. Well, that was a healthy looking fish. 
just needs to be about 10 inches longer and it would have been a really big heavy fish let's hope we can find some more around here came back to one of my little uh favorite little weed patches usually this holds something There's one. Saw him come up for it. That's a good one. This weed line out here looked too good. A decent looking fish. Just skinny from summer. Still just throwing my weightless uh, Texas rigged. Uh, I forgot what this is. It's a Nico fat worm. I like using it instead of just a plain Cinco because of the way it falls, kind of wobbles. I just brought that up over that weed and that guy, I saw him come up for it, so I let him have it. Worked out. So hopefully we can find some more bigger ones. They're getting on, <laughs> they're going the right direction. Landed on one there. This dude wants to live underneath that frickin' bog mat. <laughs> it's so dark. It's right underneath that spot, right there. Wonder how many more of those I can get. Getting a little toasty out here. Okay, before I go running all the way across the lake here, I can't skip over fishing some of this back. There were people fishing it coming up this way when I was when I was coming this way. But I figured I better better give it a couple tosses on the way back here. See if anything's sitting up tight to the weeds. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to update you guys. I basically fished all of this back side of this lake here. Um, I got the one decent one off of the cattails and that was it so I'm gonna go see it's still probably too early but I'm gonna go see if there's anything hiding in the shadows of the piers and uh, see if there's any of the giants every once in a while I get really lucky and the piers will hold the biggest fish of the day um, ironically enough that I mean that doesn't happen on every lake but this lake's so shallow that uh, they're just trying to find some shade so I'm gonna go see if I can pick off a couple from the piers before it's 100 degrees and I can't breathe <laughs> it's getting bad out here guys uh, hit that like button for struggling through the desert of the heat of the summer I can't wait till fall all right let's go try to get some more fish was one in there. Come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a cluster. Uh, he tied a knot in my line. I have to retie. That was like a four. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pitch all the piers now. Probably should have retied anyways. I haven't retied this in a while. See, I don't know what it is about the piers on this lake, but whenever it's hot out, You'd be surprised. It's only like two feet underneath these piers. So like skipping underneath them isn't really an option and making big long casts at them isn't really an option. But if I can get up next to them real quiet, I can pitch to them. And that guy, he, as soon as it hit the bottom, he picked it up and started running. And I, I panicked because I saw him going underneath the motor of the boat. So I just pulled him out and didn't get a good hook set. The hook seems like it's still doing okay. Might need to get a new one on there soon. Like I said before, if you didn't catch it, I'm just Texas rigging this worm weightless. Kind of like using it like it's a Senko, kind of not, but yeah, just a weedless hook so I can get it up on our own structure and not have to worry about getting it hung up. But it's got this really good fall, so when it's falling down, it actually swims almost. So a lot of bigger, a lot of bigger fish hit it because they think it's a bluegill or something. 
I'll list it in the description below for you guys, like I always do. If you're new here, I try to link everything down below that I can find for you. So you can copy the same thing, even if I don't work with them. But yeah, I'm gonna pick apart every pier now <laughs> because I made a bunch of cast at that one and I just flipped that in there in between the, the pier and the boat and he was sitting right there. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find some giants. Watch this dude come up and eat this. That was cool. I wish he was bigger. Came right up off that corner post. If you guys could even see it. Here's one. Gotta just start boat flipping these guys. You're getting healthier already. Not bad. I know they get a lot bigger though. That was crazy. Literally pushing myself off the pier. I barely had the rod in the other hand. <laughs> oh, these guys are so much fun. Another buck bass. But very crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I was literally pushing off that little end piece with my hand. And I had that pitched up underneath there. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I was just kind of pulling it out with this hand and I was about to reel it in because I didn't want to get a hook when I was trying to push it, push myself off, but uh, I'll take it. It's getting really, really stupid hot. And I don't know how much time I have left here for it's, or it's too hot to do anything else. Okay, so amateur hour, I wasn't recording, but I pitched up underneath that pier again and I caught another fish. So, apparently, there can be schools of them underneath there. So all I'm doing is literally just pitching it up underneath them and twitching it a couple times. Apparently it works just fine. So, we're gonna try and do that again. Oh! had one. See if I can drop this on somebody's head here. Yep. <laughs> Not a giant, but it dropped it on his head. Fish. Good fish. Oh. No! <sighs> That's one of the giants. <sighs> well, that'll make you very sad. 
I could see that one, and uh, that could have been like a six or seven, which would have been gigantic for Wisconsin. Oh, man, I thought I, I thought I set that hook good enough, but apparently I did not. Okay, so I think you guys will probably have seen the other one I missed, but my uh, me being dumb as usual missed the hook set on this one. That one was not coming off. I wanted to weigh the other one because I mean that's a it's like a 17 inch fish. 275, 277. This guy was in like no water at all. Spunky. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. I got one of these stupid weed eating machines out here where they uh, they tear up all the weeds. But uh, hopefully you guys saw me release that three pounder or whatever. And then I'm hoping you guys at least got a look at that uh, bigger fish. So the three pounder I let go was, uh, one thing I want you guys to understand is that one that I lost was definitely over six pounds. Um, and I know that because the giants in this body of water, which there are a few, um, they have this weird color to them. They're like a yellow, and they they have a huge frame to them. Um, I'm in Wisconsin, so I don't think they're like F1s or anything like that, unless somebody snuck some in here at one point in time and they're still alive. Um, but yeah, the one I just caught was way smaller. So now I have a conundrum. It's freaking hot out here. I'm kind of floating in and out of the shade of this tree, luckily. Um, but I don't know if I should go skip some more docks because that last fish and that other fish were in like a foot, foot and a half of water. And it's crazy because like the water, water's like 83 degrees. It's stupid hot. So I don't know. What would you guys do? Comment below if you would deal with the heat for a little bit longer. I'm going to drink my last drink here. And uh, the minute I'm not feeling too good, I'm going to get off the water. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to give it a try for a little bit longer. But yeah, hit that like button for some giants showing up here. Really glad I came over to these piers. Apparently, I just got to let it sit down there. Another healthy one. It would appear the big ones are under the piers. Okay, I have one more set of piers I'm gonna pick apart here. Let's hope there's a giant. <laughs> Not a giant, but a fish first cast at these piers. So spunky. Okay, that was one. Let's see if there's two. Okay guys, it is stupid hot. Like, I think it's over 90 degrees now. And uh, yeah, I think I missed the last uh, fish that I caught because I think my GoPro died. But that's okay because I think I caught like 12, 13 bass today. And I had one gigantic one on. And I'm really happy that I, I seen it in here because I thought they might have all died off. Um, like five, six, maybe even seven years ago, I used to fish this body of water and I would get 18 to 22 inch bass all the time. People started eating those and they disappeared. Um, but there is a strain in here that I've seen pictures of and I've caught like one that was pretty big where their, their bodies are just so thick. And uh, I think the biggest out of this body of water is seven, two. So they could be in here so comment below if you think i should come back here regularly until fall because in the fall that same one would probably be like a seven and a half like it'd be a big fish so hopefully i can figure those guys out later but yeah i'm gonna get off the water hopefully you guys enjoyed this one see you guys next time